Okay, single mamas, this is for you. Repeat after me. I am strong. I am brave. I am worthy. I am doing an amazing job as a mama bear. Happiness is my choice. My children come first. By allowing myself to be happy, my children are happy as well. So let me tell you, mama bears. Okay, this is the end of the affirmations. Um, yeah, I decided to do a spread for all of the amazing, spectacular single mamas out there. And that was the Mama Bear Affirmations. That was just a few of so, so many that I've seen, that I've heard, that I've done. And with an experience and the fact of me having four babies myself, four children, one of each element, I have a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, a Libra and a Scorpio and the boy is the Scorpio and he's 10 so my eldest is 25 then it's 18 then it's 13 then it's 10 so I decided you know what this is the reality of it all this is what I know that my passion and what I was meant to do came to and I was chosen by them to be their mom and I appreciate that every single day of my life. So I said, all right, there's a lot of moms that, man, it's tough, right? It's tough to be a single mom. You get underappreciated. You get uh, the finger pointed at. I mean, we know everything that goes on as single parents, right? And it's difficult whether the father is there or not. The biological person is there or not. We know that we have a responsibility. So... I have decided, I have come to a conclusion a while ago that I'm going to do single mama spreads just for you girls, you ladies that know that it's a spiritual path and are aware. And if not, with these readings, you will know that all the affirmations that I said in the beginning and so many more affirmations make it clear that this is your your path, your journey, your children were meant to be born, your child was meant to be born, your child asked to be your child before they even knew, before you even knew that they were a whisper in the wind. So this is a reading that I'm going to do for each element. Um, so I'm going to start with the water signs as I started before I'll start with the water signs now and then I'll just mix it up later but there may be changes after etc but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have three cards Cancer Pisces Scorpio this is going to be the energy for you the single mom for now June and then I'm going to have another card for um, of course this has to do with love with a couple with a soulmate, etc., who may be coming in, who you may be dealing with, and also the connection with your child or your children. So you put it as it resonates for you. And if you want a, a reading for yourself, a personal reading, it's going to have more cards, of course. Okay, there's one that came out. Knight of Pentacles, slow and easy. You got to take it slow, mamas. The mama bears, mama bears. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to not have them all fall out at once. So there's a message slow and steady wins the race. Whoever this is directed to, this is a message. So this is for you guys, water signs. Knight of Pentacles, your Knight of Pentacles, somebody grounded. It may be a, an earth sign. 
that it's coming slow and steady, but this is meant to happen like this because you can't rush into anything, number one. And number two, it, it is something important, extremely important, and it has to do with bettering your monetary aspect also. All right, so then let's do this. I'm going to do three cards. You'll see how I do them now. Single mama, single mama spread. Single mama spread for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thank you so much. All right, Cancer. Pisces. Give me one for Pisces. Thank you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Thank you, Universe. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you so much, Pisces. Let's do one for Scorpio. Ooh, okay, Scorp. Wow. Very nice. Very sweet. Okay, so the energy of whoever's coming in or your partner now. So you know that this is very important in regards to your partner who has um, space in your heart right now or who's coming in. This is extremely important because sometimes, and I've seen this a lot, it happens a lot, some women take precedence over their partners and then the children get left out to the side and that is totally incorrect totally wrong I have seen it as something so so common and if anything happens with their partner then the relationship with their children gets affected also they will put their children to the side their child to the side and that is incorrect that is totally totally wrong your children have to come first so let's see cancer <laughs> three of swords uh, Pisces three of cups Scorpio four of Pentacles and then we have the children cancer mm-hmm Pisces yeah Scorpio Okay, guys, so apparently for all of you, for all the water signs, Ace of Pentacles, something new is coming in as in monetary aspect. All right, cool. I like that. I like that because I'm a Cancer. So then let's check this out, guys. Let's see what's going on, single mamas. So Cancer, we have the Queen of Swords. This is going to be your energy for now the month of June. I'm going to do these like mid-June energy to mid-July, all right? So then the Queen of Swords, yeah, it's a no-nonsense energy, sharp to the point, no BS, all right? And then this is a great energy, actually, because you're not going to give up on anything. You're going to cut straight to the point. It's an air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And it's something that you are fed up with just having to do adjust to the norm, right? To the mundane, the daily task, the mundane. And uh, yeah, you're sick of it. You're going to continue with what you want to do. It's going to be your way or the highway. And you're not going to take no for an answer. That's the energy I felt right there. And oh boy, am I feeling it. And so with a partner or a love interest, no, it's not happening right now. And there may be a three of swords scenario as in something that's happened in the past. And this is what you hold in your heart, in your mind. And actually, uh, right now for June, nothing's going to come through because you still have a uh, three of swords situation. Heartbreak, um, remembering something in the past, kind of like bitterness towards someone or something that has happened in the past it holds on yes we do dwell cancer we dwell obviously and then with your children yeah family pure bliss uh, contentment jumping around having fun and enjoying your children and spending time with them the ten of cups yes resonated totally so that's going to be the energy and it's it's all good. It seems like it's pretty uh, 
on point for most cancers, right? So then Pisces. So Pisces is next judgment. Your time has come with the bells in the sky, the trumpet in the sky, right? The judgment card, the judgment card, meaning whatever you have been anticipating and working on spiritually also as in a spiritual enlightenment, enlightenment or awakening, good things are coming. Good things are coming now in June to July. All right, single mamas, what you have asked for is coming. Keep on manifesting and, um, and meditating and saying affirmations on a daily basis. I can't uh, reiterate how important that is to manifest. And so, wow. So this is either something that's going on with, you know what? I'm not sure because it doesn't seem like it would be a third party situation or you're going out and having fun, enjoying your moments with someone, with friends, okay? It doesn't seem like there's something going on as in a partnership, uh, something as in a, a partner or anything like that. This seems to me as in you're just going out, you're having fun. This is the energy that I get with this one um uh, because you're enjoying yourself and things are clearing up on other ends right so then this is basically you wanting to have fun go out and enjoy yourself now and you should because you deserve it you've been working hard so then your tiny counterparts the knight of wands they're in a very passionate energy whether it's one child or many i feel like it's one it's one that may be a fire sign and they're actually wanting to go out with you. Hmm. This is what I'm getting. I hope it resonates, but it's like if they want to go out with you and have fun and enjoy themselves with you also, um, or they're also doing the same thing with friends. So they're okay with your freedom. It looks like you guys have a very nice connection with your child or with your children. Uh, they also like to do things and have fun and go out and be passionate within some kind of maybe hobby that they also do. That's interesting. Okay, so Scorpio, the four of wands. Very nice. This is an energy of happiness, of bliss, of uh, just family and fun and pure contentment also. Seems like you go on to parties too in June, from June to July. Or enjoying your summer also with your kids. And then your partner, your partner's being apparently very stubborn. I don't seem like, I don't feel like this is somebody that is coming in. I feel like maybe this is a, an earth sign. I feel more towards Taurus and they're being stubborn and very stingy with their money for this month, mid June to July. And your kids are feeling it. They're feeling it. And they may be water signs just like you, maybe water sign with air and air, water sign and air. And I don't think they're too happy about it. I don't think they are. I think it's something where they feel, even though it, you are going to be in this energy, I feel like the kids are being a little bit um, distant. So it's better off you talk to them, maybe talk to them, let them know, uh, hey, what's going on? Open up to them. Open up to them. You know that it's okay to also be friends with your kids according to age difference, etc. And talking to them and sitting down and not reprimanding, but sitting down and talking to them and seeing what is going on and what's wrong with them, etc. So yeah, single mamas. This is a single mama spread. This is for the water signs. And if you would like a personal reading, um, it would be of love and family and anything having to do with your life, what's going on right now. That's how the spread would come out. I can do an energy spread also for your children too and what's going on what uh, can be happening with them also because I've gotten this in other readings like questions about what's going on with my son or my daughter etc and people don't understand that that connection is extremely important also and the aspect of what kind of connection that you both have as parent and child is very important 
very, very important. And their, um, their sign also has a lot to do with how you guys are going to communicate, right? So you are strong. You are brave. You are worthy, single mom. Reach out to me in the description box below. I have an email. Reach out to me and um, we can work out um, if you're a single mom and you have some kind of situation going on, we can work out um, on the amount for a reading. Okay, so reach out to me and I will see you guys later. I'm going to do this for each element and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in Spanish yet, but we will go from there. Okay, my loves. Alrighty. I'll see you soon. Bye.